An astonishing prognosis for the young girl who yesterday had half of her brain removed to stop seizures. April Wilson joins us from the hospital in Maryland where the news is pretty good. April? Thanks, Deborah. We're at the Johns Hopkins Medical Center in Baltimore, Maryland, where 15-year-old Amber Ramirez is recovering in the intensive care unit after spending eight and a half hours on the operating table to remove half of her brain and to stop the seizures that have been plaguing her life. Although there was some concern about how Amber would fare during the surgery, doctors are encouraged by what they've already seen. I would anticipate uh her living quite a, a normal life. I anticipate that she's going to be independent. Dr. Benjamin Carson's patient fared so well from the hemispherectomy, the procedure that removed the entire left side of her brain, that specialists here are giving a good prognosis to this tenacious Nebraska teenager. When you tickle her, she doesn't like to be tickled. And we got her to open her eyes, and she pushed me away, and she moved her left arm and her left leg, and. These are exactly the kind of responses we want to see from somebody at this stage in their recovery. And that's like a miracle to Amber's mother, Sherry, who has been by her daughter's side since a rare degenerative disorder began to eat away at Amber's brain and wreak havoc on her life. She usually has, um, on the average, maybe three to six seizures a day. After two days in the intensive care unit and a week in the hospital, Amber will begin a tough road back. She'll have to relearn walking and hopefully talking and rehabilitation. I think with her determination, I'm, I'm just really feeling like she's just going to pretty, pretty much persevere through all the rehab she has to look forward to. <laughs> The success stories of other children who have gone through this radical procedure are providing hope for the Ramirez family. Just right after surgery and in a lot of pain and you can't walk. And I was only four then. Like Amber, nine-year-old Jody Miller suffered from Rasmussen syndrome. She too had half of her brain removed. In Jody's case, it was the right side of the brain. I think she's a medical miracle. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty amazing that someone can function as well as she does with only half her brain. Although doctors say the younger you are when the surgery is performed, the better your chances of recovery. Amber's family, friends, and physicians are convinced that this strong young woman will surprise us all. What are you hoping now? Um, I guess the biggest thing I hope for is that she can return to being a teenager again, and I think that's probably going to be her biggest goal, um, and to get back to school. Amazing story. One of Amber's doctors says that she will be able to use her right hand, but not for detailed movements, simply as a helper hand.